What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Deluxe, which you guys can call me D4. And today I'm going to be showing you the two best fishing spots in all of Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Now, if you find something you like in this video or that you like my spots, go ahead and leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot of daily content coming your way. Now, before I get started, we do have a giveaway at the top of the description. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and do so. But all right. So we have our original fishing spot that I showed you guys like 10 videos ago, and I love this spot. It's right outside of Rhodes. It's right there on the dock, and I get a lot of people that come and fish here, which is pretty cool. But also, there are a lot of griefers that come out here, and so I'm going to show you two places that I don't get a lot of traffic with, or people just don't mess with me that much. Now, there is one place that I'm going to show you out of the two that there's a lot of people around but for whatever reason, they don't really mess with me, I guess because I'm elevated a little bit. And then the second spot, no one should ever mess with you because it's so far out of the way that uh, it, people are really just going to have to hunt you down to kind of get you. But what you need to do is um, we are going to go and get a lure, okay? If you haven't gotten a lure yet... You can go get a lure from any general store, and that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you right outside of Rhodes is where I'm at, so I'm going to go to any general store, and we're going to go in and buy a lure. Now, I already have the lake lure because I've been at the lake, and now I'm going to go show you guys how to buy the river lure. Now, Rockstar, if you played the beta at all, gave us some money, and they also gave us some gold bars, so there's no reason why you shouldn't have any gold bars. So I have my money, and I have my gold bars, and when you go in, go into the hunting and fishing catalog, and once you get in there, of course, go over to the river lure. Now, once you get to the lure, you want to go in. And it gives you instructions that once you get into uh, that little area, it only costs you one gold bar. So go ahead and buy the lure for one Looks gold like bar. I'm not big lot. enough right. as far as the um, rank, so I'm not level 30 yet. So go ahead and buy the bar. But it does only cost like $2.50. But I can't wait because I need to catch those fish and plus two dollars and fifty cents is really nothing and a gold bar i'm going to make over time anyway so i'm really not worried about that too much but this is the place where we're going right here way up north this is exact same spot where we had our um what do you say our freaking what was it the waterfall the waterfall is there so we are we are right above this water flows onto the rocks where our waterfall glitch was where we get free fish now uh, what I'm going to be doing is going here and then switching over to my river lure. So if you have that river lure, like I said, then you'll be fine. But if not, you might want to use worms or something that's going to catch you a trout or a salmon. Um, we're going to be going for salmon this time, and I'm going to show you how fast you can catch fish. Now, there's a couple of reasons I think there's, there's fish here. I, I think that this is the end of the water where the waterfall goes over. So there's going to be like concentrated fish here, but also it is so narrow that I think fish have nowhere else to go and they're going to be by your bait a lot. So when I fish, I'm barely going to reel in a little bit, just very slowly work this thing around and boom, get a hit and just drag these things in. I'm catching fish so fast at this spot. Now I do get a few people that come by and say hi and whatever. And I haven't had a lot of griefers here. If I'm fishing, they really don't mess with me. If I'm trying to shoot people, then of course they're going to mess with me. But below this is the waterfall. So you will see people at the waterfall spot trying to get free fish all the time. And that is hectic because a lot of people want to kill each other. But look how fast we catch fish here. It is insane. This is probably my favorite spot when I'm not doing anything and I'm just trying to relax. I go to this spot and I just catch salmon after salmon after salmon and you can see them in the water they're all over the place whether it's dark or light there is salmon all over this place so definitely check out this spot this thing is awesome but make sure you use the the river lure because if you don't use the river lure it's going to take you a while to catch them with the lake lure you can catch them i've caught them before but it's kind of tough so make sure you catch them with the river lure but this is number two and you can see a salmon on, up in the top right por portion there just swimming around acting all crazy so i'm gonna try to catch him next if he's there i'm gonna try to pull him out but that's pretty dang easy to catch some salmon those sock ass salmon go for a nice little price even after rockstar has updated the uh price of fish it is well worth it especially when you're catching them this quick remember you can hold 10 
So uh, get those things in your pocket as soon as possible. But I'm catching these things, bam, bam, bam. Really not having a lot of like down downtime whatsoever. So boom, got another one, and we're reeling them in. So pretty dang easy. This is my favorite spot, but again, you are gonna get a couple people that are gonna run around. There has a really nice cliff. They have a waterfall around here. There's some nice hunting around here. So again, you will get people from time to time, but it's pretty dang easy. So let's go ahead and get to our horse, and I'm gonna show you where the next little section is. Now, this one is a really, really, really secluded place. If you get people here, I would be very freaking surprised. Um, but it does take you a little time for, to get from this place to the other place. But uh, if I had to pick between the two, I'm definitely picking the place that we're at right now to do my fishing and do it quickly. But again, if you have a lot of griefers on your, um, on your map, then you might want to switch over to another session. So right here, right where this river goes into this lake, you want to uh, fish because there's actually two types of fishing you can do. You can do the lake lure and you can do the river lure. So this is the river portion of it. So I'm gonna use the river lure, but you can catch them with the lake lure, but the river lure seems to work a little bit better. Maybe it's all in my head, but I have found that this one works a little bit better. You can fish any of these little pockets right here. They're all the same to me. I haven't had any problems catching fish, but if you feel like it's a little slow, then maybe move to the pocket right up uh, north of this or and then kind of work your way down. Um, but I'm gonna show you a couple spots here that I like. So. My first spot, this is probably how far I go north with it. You can go further, but I like this little hole right here. Remember, you have to get at an angle when you're throwing your line out or it's not gonna go very far. So always angle it towards the bank. The more area you can cover, the better, because it's gonna be a longer cast. But uh, I like this one right here. It seems to work really, really well for me, and I seem to catch decent amount of fish in a decent amount of time i say the fish is a little bit slower here than the last one because i don't think you're going to get faster than the last one it's such a concentrated area that uh, i don't know the fish are just all over the place so anyways so catching fish here are pretty simple too but it is a little bit slower but i'm going to show you a couple spots here and so this spot right here boom got a fish pretty dang easy and of course it is a salmon as well so we're going to put that bad boy in our pocket and move along to our next spot so the next spot is actually down towards the bottom where the river meets the lake and I'm gonna show you both spots here so I'm gonna show you the river portion of it and I'm gonna show you the lake portion now when I throw this cast I'm actually throwing it over the waterfall so you're gonna see some drag in my line where it looks like it's like super close to me but it's really not it's actually over the waterfall and I think I caught this fish going my, when my bait was going up the waterfall, I don't know, but it seems that way from the way I hook it because how you hook it is the way this thing comes in. And look at the way that this fish comes in because it looks like he's coming straight up, which he is. So it makes me think that I did catch him going up the waterfall, which kind of is kind of freaky because if you catch a fish like going away from you, he will get caught that way and really won't turn that much. But this one was going straight up. So... Uh, I caught a salmon going actually up the waterfall, I think, there. So that's kind of cool, too. But easy catches here. Again, super easy. You see how long it takes me. Not very long at all. And uh, I'm going to show you actually in the pond, uh, the little pool. I shouldn't say pond. The little pool right here and not go over the waterfall with this, with this catch right here. How short this is. And hopefully we can catch a fish here, too. But I really do hope you guys enjoy these fishing spots because they are my favorite fishing spots of all time. And what do you know? Boom got another one and I just you know <laughs> I don't know if you see people here say hi uh, try to be friendly as much as possible because again um, you're gonna run into people if they see this video or whatever but uh, I seem to think that it doesn't matter how many people are here you're gonna catch fish no matter what now what we're gonna do now is we're going to transition and go down to the lake portion so once this river runs into the bigger body of water that is the lake now you can use the lake lure or the river lure at the bottom of this because it actually thinks that this is part of the river the mouth of the river but i'm going to consider it part of the lake so i'm going to switch over to the lake lure just to show you guys that you can catch a fish with the lake lure it is not hard but i feel that the river lure is better in these situations so here we go. We see some signs of fish, and we're going to throw 
our fishing line back in but see it tells us this is this this is the river but it actually is part of the lake so using the lake lure here not the river lure just same method pull it in kind of slow and see what you can catch but yeah it's pretty simple pretty simple but again if you like these fishing holes please leave a like on this and subscribe to the channel because uh, i got more stuff like this that coming right down the pipeline so um this we should help you out with you know getting some of the money back that we're kind of losing on the new update and i hope they do change the way that fish are selling because i wish they would bump it back up um but i got some other videos coming out that's going to show you guys how to make some money but i just can't get away from fishing i'm not going to give up because it's so relaxing and so easy uh i love fishing and these are my two favorite fishing spots but Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for everything. Thank you for staying to this, the end of this video. We're going to put some comments on the screen now so you guys can uh, see all the positive comments going on with this channel. So thank you guys for all the love. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.